<laughs> yep, knew that was coming. Yeah. This is a live broadcast, but if you wanted to watch us later on DVR, no problem, right? Back when TV began, everything was live, and there was no going back. KTLA's Dave Malkoff found a man with a classic TV time machine in his house. If today's TV is getting you down, Stu Shostak, TV historian, is the guy you want to talk to. Everything is reality shows now. Everything is mean-spirited. Back when Stu watched current TV shows, it was all in the family, mash, silver spoons. In fact, that's Stu, the audience warm-up guy. So this is the office slash radio studio in here. Walls stocked with Betamax recordings, stuff he taped off TV in the late 70s and early 80s. This is the earliest stuff. This goes back to uh, like January of 1978. Stu's been collecting classic TV for more than three decades. It's like a time capsule. You put one of these on and you're back in the 1970s. For videotape, you could capture a TV show on vinyl. This is all we had when we were kids in the 60s. Or, as you'll see upstairs. This is the official archive. These are one-of-a-kind film copies of classic television shows. Wall to wall films, they're all in alphabetical order. Bewitched, Bill Cosby, <laughs> Bullwinkle, Burns and Allen. Yeah, let's hear about it. Early television yeah. shows were fed yeah. live to the coast. You're seeing a title card that says the George Burns and Gracie Allen show that camera two took. But to get the show to the rest of the country, TV pioneers used a contraption called a kinescope. A movie camera with sound that was pointed at a monitor in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the problems. That's why you always see that weird beveled edge on old TV shows. There's probably more information than you need, but... <laughs> Eventually, the film canisters made their way back to the studios here in L.A. Coming here, I was walking down Fairfax Avenue. When see? they finally cleared out their studios in the 70s, I would frequently raid the dumpsters and found a lot of great stuff. Yep, dumpster diving is the only reason copies exist of some of these old TV shows. <laughs> I used to go to TV shows a lot when I was a kid and I, nobody ever stopped me from going into the trash. Maury Amsterdam was a nightclub comic and a vaudevillian. This is, this is Art Carney before he was Ed Norton. This was Maury Amsterdam before he was Buddy Sorrell on the Dick Van Dyke Show. It's just interesting to watch. These days, Stu hosts an internet radio show. On the walls here are some of the celebrities that have come over here and sat and done the show for a couple of hours each week. And he uses the archive and old TV guides to do some deep research. Good night. Good night. Good night. History pulled from the trash heap. See what that says? Even a gem from the KTLA dumpster. See the five? Popeye will return after these messages. I have a lot of anger built up to Mike, and I think it's time for me to do what I have to do. For lack of a better word, it's not quaint anymore. And what I'm trying to do is preserve that quaintness. In Chatsworth, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. <laughs> he said quaint. Yeah, Nothing's yeah, quaint anymore. You can true. find many classic TV shows and movies on our digital sub channel, 5.2, also known as Antenna TV. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Check it out. You can also check to see if your cable company provides the channel. Antenna TV, we like it. Yes. All right. In the meantime, um, hot weather. Some people like it.